Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, a crafty channel. My name is Erica and this is floss tube number eight. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for choosing to come back and uh, watch another uh, cross stitch video with me. And if you are new here, I hope that you stick around and you enjoy what I am going to show you. Um, today, like I said, is a floss tube video. Uh, Rose Opal Knits is a channel that I host with my daughter-in-law Daphne and it's a crafty channel because we like to knit and crochet, um, I cross stitch, occasionally there's a little bit of sewing and we just like to try all different crafts and we do um, podcasts together that are basically uh, just knitting and crochet and then I do cross stitch videos when I can and today is one of them and it's been a while. I think my last update was the beginning of May when I talked about what I stitched in April. So I did have a period there where I wasn't doing a lot of cross stitching. I would kind of lost my stitchy bug, but it's back and I'm having fun with it. So I thought I'd do a mid-July update and then maybe I won't update again until the beginning of September. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how much I have to show. <laughs> So let's get started and I have a finish, a start that became a finish, and then three whips. So not a lot, but the uh, whips I think have some decent progress and I will have um, pictures from before so you can compare them and I do also will also have show notes in the description box below so let's get to it all right my first finish is this chart by Pine Mountain Designs and it's called Perhaps Christmas I've been working on it for a while it was actually one of the first pieces that I bought when I returned to cross stitching in 2020. And let me show you my finish. I forgot my board. I have to grab it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here it is. And I will pop a picture in so you can see what it looked like when I picked it back up. All right, so there are a couple of mistakes in here. And then just I decided to leave them and make them part of the design. So the moon, I um, brought out a little wider on the ends. One side I did on accident and I just decided to add to the other side rather than rip out the one side, so. And then down here on the tree, these bottom two stitches are um, one thread too long, but I just left them. And I think that's it. So I'm using the linen that came with the kit when I bought it from 123 Stitch. It's a 32 count lamb's wool linen. I used all DMC floss. And I substituted one color, which is this green. I did not have the green that um, the pattern called for, so I just pulled that green from my stash, and I think it looks great. And what else can I say about this? It took me way too long to finish, but I have found that while I love Christmas patterns, I don't necessarily enjoy stitching them. The designs can be beautiful, but then it's like I really have to be in the mood to stitch Christmas. So, but there it is. And hopefully one day before the Christmas season, I will have it fully finished. All right. So next we will talk about my start 
and finish. It's just a little tiny one. I was gifted this kit by Ashley of Paper Crane Yarns. She has a shop in Alabama and online. And I purchased an order, a knitting order from her, and she included this cross stitch kit in it for me, which I thought was super sweet. Thank you, Ashley. And I started it and finished it very quickly. It comes with everything that you need, um, the pattern, the uh, floss, the needle, the Ada, the hoop. And you would think that since it came with the hoop, you know, you could finish it in the hoop. I'd have it fully finished, but I don't. I have to be in the mood to fully finish. Like, I finish stitching and then I want to go stitch something else. I don't necessarily want to sit down and finish stitching. But here is the finished piece. So, isn't it super cute? It's on 14 count Ada. I used two threads on the 14 count Ada. Did I say that for perhaps Christmas? I used two threads, two floss threads over two linen threads to stitch that one. But there it is. And I am gonna finish it in the hoop and put a little felt on the back and then probably add it to the shelf back here. But not much to say, it's super fun. It was super fun to do and like I said, very quick. Which, kind of like solidifies how I have been feeling about cross stitch. I was thinking about all my projects and looking through them and I decided that I have a lot of medium to large projects. I mean, and to some of you, they wouldn't even be large, like full coverage stitchers, they probably wouldn't be large, but for me, they're in the medium to large category. And I feel like I need more smalls because, you know, you feel accomplished when you actually, you know, finish one. So those are my two finishes and we're going to get into the whips. So I've showed them all on my floss tube videos before and we will start with this one, the Janlin kit that my husband gave me for Christmas. And I hope to finish this by the end of the year. I started it on January 1st. And here is my progress. Here it is. And I will pop a picture in so you can see. I, mean, I might need to hold it back here for the picture. Show it up close. And I'm working to finish the top half and then I'll go down to the bottom half and finish that. But I feel like I've, you know, I feel like while I'm not halfway complete and we're halfway through the year, I still feel like I'm on track to finish this by the end of the year. And I'm using all the kit materials, the Ada, which I believe is a 14 count. Yep, 14 count. And all the floss that came with the kit. So there's that. And the um, next project that I pulled out to work on is a dimensions kit that I've, that's been a whip for too long. It's been a whip for several years, I think. Two or three. Cause I just got back into stitching in 2022 after a five year break. But it is this kit. Be a Light by Dimensions. And it's on navy blue 14 count Ada, which is probably one of the reasons it's not finished because I do not like stitching on dark fabric. But it's a super pretty design. And, oh, I hit the camera. This is where I am. Let me get my board. <laughs> leave that on there. Turn it upside down. Oh. All right. That is my progress. I will pop in a before picture. But I can see the end in this one now. 
because most of what I have to finish are half stitches. I've completed almost all of the full crosses. And I am using all the kit thread for this one and the colors are so pretty. So hopefully this will be a finish soon. You know, I say that and then <laughs> I lose steam. But And then the last project that I picked up um, was this. Sorry, <laughs> disappeared for a moment. Our Daily Bread by La Dida. Now, if you've been watching for a long time, you will know that I had a love-hate relationship with this design. Obviously, I loved it enough to purchase it. And I decided to stitch it on a 36 count linen that I had bought in my stash and bought and put in my stash, I think. Or did I buy it? I don't know. I might have bought it to, to do with this specific project, but I don't think so. And um, I decided that I wanted to do one thread, one floss thread over two fabric threads. And I started it and was not loving it. I decided that 36 count, one floss thread was not for me. I'm just not that kind of stitcher and I put it away and I actually think I put it like a UFO did but then I um, taught myself how to stitch using the sewing method where I just stitch on top instead of you know poke and pull poke and pull and now it is one of my favorite projects to stitch on and it's like probably my favorite way to stitch. And here is my progress. I'll pop in a picture of where I was before. Now I haven't given this a lot of time because I didn't pull it out until I finished perhaps Christmas. And then of course I had other projects I was you know rotating through as well. Um, but more progress has been made on it than what it looks like because this bottom line here that I had stitched before was one, one stitch too long. So I had stitched this side one stitch too long and then brought this over. And when I put this outer border on, I realized my mistake. So I came back and un, you know, I picked this out and then started again. And then I brought, I've brought this down a little bit since then and it's gonna meet and it'll be fine. But I added this. So this is going to be the project that I work on for the finish. I think even before the dimensions kit be a light, I'll probably finish this one first. We'll see though, because I'm going to work on both of them to get a finish, and it just depends on my mood and my stitching time. But I really love it, and I'm using, I believe I'm using all the called for um, thread, which it's all over dyed floss. And, uh, but all that information is in the description box below. I've showed them, you know, before in other videos, but I'm short on time today. And I just really wanted to get a floss tube done and record my progress so I can, you know, move forward. And here it is. So that is all that I've worked on May, June, and half of July. Not a lot, but it's a good amount. And like I said, I probably didn't stitch at all for three, three or four weeks in that time. Um, I have made a couple purchases and I will show you those. But I'm going to pause the video for a minute. All right. So like I had said before that I decided I didn't have um, a lot of smaller projects on the go. I had mainly medium, what I consider medium to large size projects. And I just really thought that I would love to have some smaller projects in my 
rotation. I don't really have a rotation, but you know, in my whip box. So because I just pull what I feel like stitching out of my whip box and I'd like to be able to pull some smaller ones out. So I went to one, two, three stitch and looked at my wish list and I purchased a few. And the reason I purchased them was because two of them were on clearance. So I didn't know if that meant like once they were gone, they were gone, you know, one, two, three stitch wasn't going to get them again. Um, or if it was just some kind of sale they were having, I don't know, but they were on clearance sale. So, and they were on my wish list. So I chose this pattern, Mary, Mary, quite contrary by country cottage. Yeah. Country cottage needleworks. says Country Cottage Kids by Country Cottage Needleworks. I think it's an older pattern. But my daughter is six and her name is Mary Rose. So of course I'm drawn to things with, you know, little girls and Mary. And she loves to be outside too. So I don't know, I just thought it would be fun to stitch. And she she's very interested in what I stitch. Yeah, it says the pattern is copyright 2010. And let me look at the dimensions of this. It says stitch count is 61 by 89. So it's not super small, but it's not big at all. So that's one of them. And then another one that was on in my, on my wish list and on clearance was Little Rose House by By the Bay needle art that's an actual photo there that's just kind of taped to the pattern and it's got two different designs that come with it and these are definitely smaller ones so the little house the little rose house is 56 stitches by 56 stitches and the little rose house sampler is 66 stitches by 63 stitches so those are you know small obviously there's a lot of stitching involved with this one though because it the interior of it looks to be almost full coverage but I thought it was pretty and again my daughter's name is Mary Rose and so I love patterns with roses as well <laughs> So there's that one. And then the last one I picked up was not on clearance, but I love it. And I love patterns with birds. So I picked up um, The Last Ripe Berries by Blackbird Designs. And I'm, let me see what the dimensions of this one is. See if I can open it real quick. 91 by 91. So again, it's not super small, but it's not huge either. So I don't have um, the called for threads or fabric to go with these, but um, you know, I have plenty of stash I can look through and see about those, but I don't know that I'm in the mood to start anything quite yet. I mean, I kind of feel like maybe starting one small project and I think I did get a couple too. I think my son gave me two smaller ones um, for my birthday too. So that's an option, but kind of in the mood to finish. A couple more before I start anything else. I think I only have like 15 or 16 cross stitch whips, but combine that with my 15 or 16 knitting whips, and then that's quite a few whips. <laughs> so, all right, this was short and sweet video. I hope you stuck around and you enjoyed it. Um, but I've got to, I've got to end it because my daughter-in-law are um, hosting a Zoom call later today with some of the subscribers of Rose Opal Knits and we're doing Zooms problem we're trying to do one a week all summer but we kind of I went on vacation and things got busy so that there have been a few weeks that it didn't work out for us but if you're interested in meeting up with us on Zoom and you want to stitch or you know just chit chat you know stitch and chit chat um, you you can join our Discord group where we update in there. That information for the Discord group is down below, or you can just email us at roseopalknits 
at gmail.com and put Zoom in the title and we will send you the link for our next Zoom meeting. All right, so take care and see you hopefully sooner than later. <laughs> Bye.